This is a chronology of the formation of regular or mainstream Masonic Grand Lodges in North America, descending from the Premier Grand Lodge of England or its rival, the Antient Grand Lodge of England. A Grand Lodge, or Grand Orient, as it is called in some jurisdictions elsewhere in the world, is the governing body that supervises craft Freemasonry, also known as Blue Lodge Freemasonry, in a particular jurisdiction or geographical area. Topic: <laughs> Freemasonry prior to 1717. Freemasonry or speculative masonry developed out of the guilds and associations of operative stonemasons during the late 16th and early 17th centuries. By 1700, numerous Masonic lodges were in existence throughout England, Scotland and Ireland. Each lodge was considered independent unto itself, and there was no supervisory body that governed all of Freemasonry. This led to some confusion, as ritual variations developed and disputes as to the legitimacy of various lodges arose. In 1717 members of four lodges in London elected to form what they called a Grand Lodge to supervise the fraternity and grant charters to new lodges. Not all lodges, however, accepted the self-proclaimed authority of this Grand Lodge, and soon formed rival Grand Lodges of their own. Topic. Original Grand Lodges formed by Time Immemorial Lodges The following Grand Lodges were formed by pre-existing Time Immemorial Lodges Lodges that predated the concept of having Grand Lodges to supervise and coordinate the craft, and thus were retained as having existed from Time Immemorial Premier Grand Lodge of England, Est. June 24, 1717 merged with Ancient Grand Lodge of England, or the Ancients, to form the United Grand Lodge of England in 1813. Grand Lodge of Ireland, Est. June 24, 1725 Grand Lodge of Scotland, Est. 1736 Antient Grand Lodge of England, Est. 1751 merged with Premier Grand Lodge of England, or the Moderns, to form the United Grand Lodge of England in 1813. <laughs> Grand Lodges founded during the colonial era Freemasonry spread from the British Isles during the colonial era. All of the original Grand Lodges began to issue charters to individual lodges in North America, but the two English Grand Lodges the Ancients and the Moderns were the most prolific. Starting in 1730 the Grand Lodge of England Moderns began to issue warrants for provincial Grand Lodges in the colonies. Initially, these warrants were issued to individuals, to act as deputies for the Grand Master in a given area for fixed periods of time, and some confusion resulted due to overlapping jurisdictions. To confuse matters further, with the formation of the Antient Grand Lodge, rival provincial Grand Lodges were chartered under their jurisdiction. Cox Provincial Grand Lodge Moderns 1730 to 1732 by warrant issued to Daniel Cox by GLE for 2 years granted jurisdiction over New York, New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Provincial Grand Lodge of New England Moderns Est. 1733 by warrant given to Henry Price. The Grand Lodge of Massachusetts dates itself from the formation of this provincial Grand Lodge. Provincial Grand Lodge of South Carolina, Est. 1736 Provincial Grand Lodge of New York, Moderns, 1738-1780s, warrants issued by GLE, Moderns, to Francis Golett, 1738-1753, to George Harrison, 1753-1771, to Sir John Johnson, from 1771. 
As Johnson was a loyalist during the American Revolution, he is believed to have taken his warrant with him when he fled to Canada, thus leaving the Modern's Lodges without a Provincial Grand Master. Provincial Grand Lodge for North America Scotland Est. 1757 by warrant issued to Colonel John Young. Provincial Grand Lodge of Canada, Est. 1759 became PGL of Lower Canada, i.e. Quebec, in 1792. Provincial Grand Lodge for Pennsylvania, Ancients, Est. 1761 by warrant issued to William Ball. Provincial Grand Lodge of New York, Athol Charter, Ancients, 1781 to 1784. Although this PGL was warranted by the Ancients. The final provincial Grand Master, Chancellor Robert R. Livingston, PGM, 1784-87, was actually the master of a lodge under the jurisdiction of the Moderns, thus uniting the two branches of English Freemasonry in New York State. Livingston continued in office as the first Grand Master of the Independent GL of NY. Provincial Grand Lodge of Upper Canada, Est. 1792. Topic: Independent Grand Lodges. After the American Revolution and again after the incorporation of Canada, the various provincial Grand Lodges in North America were closed, and the lodges in each state or province formed independent Grand Lodges. These, in turn, chartered lodges in the territories in the West and North. As each new state or province came into being, the lodges that had been chartered within its borders gathered together and formed new Grand Lodges. Grand Lodge of Virginia, Est. 1778 Grand Lodge of New York, Est. 1782 declared itself independent Grand Lodge on June 6, 1787 Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania, Est. 1786 Continuation of Prov. GL of Penn. See above. Grand Lodge of Georgia, Est. December 16, 1786. Grand Lodge of New Jersey, Est. December 18, 1786. Grand Lodge of Maryland, Est. December 9, 1787. Grand Lodge of North Carolina, Est. December 9, 1787. Grand Lodge of South Carolina, Est. 1788 Grand Lodge of Connecticut, Est. 1789 Grand Lodge of New Hampshire, Est. 1789 Grand Lodge of Rhode Island, Est. 1791 Grand Lodge of Massachusetts, Est. 1792 Continuation of PGL of New England see above. Grand Lodge of Vermont, Est. 1794 Grand Lodge of Kentucky, Est. 1800 Grand Lodge of Delaware, Est. 1806 Grand Lodge of Ohio, Est. 1808 Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia, Est. 1811 Grand Lodge of Louisiana, Est. 1812 Grand Lodge of Tennessee, Est. 1813 Grand Lodge of Indiana, Est. January 13, 1818 Grand Lodge of Mississippi, Est. July 27, 1818 Grand Lodge of Maine, Est. 1820 Grand Lodge of Missouri, Est. April 21, 1821 Grand Lodge of Alabama, Est. June 11, 1821 Grand Lodge of Michigan, Est. 1826 Grand Lodge of Florida, Est. 1830 Grand Lodge of Texas, Est. 1838 Grand Lodge of Illinois, Est. 1840 Previous Grand Lodge in existence, 1822-1827 Grand Lodge of Wisconsin, Est. 1843 Grand Lodge of Iowa, Est. 1844 Grand Lodge of California, Est. 1850 Grand Lodge of Oregon, Est. 1851 
Grand Lodge of Minnesota, Est. 1853 Grand Lodge of Canada in the Province of Ontario, Est. 1855 Grand Lodge of Kansas, Est. 1856 Grand Lodge of Nebraska, Est. 1857 Grand Lodge of Washington State, Est. 1858 Grand Lodge of Colorado, Est. 1861 Grand Lodge of Nevada, Est. January 17, 1865 Grand Lodge of West Virginia, Est. April 12, 1865 Grand Lodge of Montana, Est. January 24, 1866 Grand Lodge of Nova Scotia, Est. February 20, 1866 Grand Lodge of Idaho, Est. December 17, 1867 Grand Lodge of British Columbia and Yukon, Est. December 24, 1867 Grand Lodge of New Brunswick, Est. 1868 Grand Lodge of Quebec, Est. 1869 Grand Lodge of Utah, Est. 1872 Grand Lodge of the Indian Territory, Est. October 6, 1874 re-established in 1892 as Grand Lodge of Oklahoma Grand Lodge of Wyoming, Est. December 15, 1874 Grand Lodge of Manitoba, Est. May 12, 1875 Grand Lodge of Prince Edward Island, Est. June 23, 1875 Grand Lodge of New Mexico, Est. 1877 Grand Lodge of Arizona, Est. 1882 Grand Lodge of North Dakota, Est. 1889 Grand Lodge of Oklahoma, Est. 1892 Replaced the Grand Lodge of Indian Territory Grand Lodge of Alberta, Est. 1905 Grand Lodge of Saskatchewan, Est. August 9, 1906 Grand Lodge of Alaska, Est. 1981 Grand Lodge of Hawaii, Est. 1989 Grand Lodge of Newfoundland and Labrador, Est. 1997 See also General list of Masonic Grand Lodges History of Freemasonry